Hey there, Steve here. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I was just going through some emails and some messages on Instagram and stuff like that. And um, I thought whilst I've got a bit more time, perhaps I can answer some emails actually with uh, some video reference to help uh, anybody who has a similar question. And I'm going to do this for questions that I get asked quite often that perhaps you would like to know the answer to as well. So please let me know if this is something you're interested in seeing more of and if you have any questions then you can email me at my email address that you can see on screen here or you can reach out to me uh, via Instagram and I'll try and get back to you there too. Right so the question we have today is from Danny he says hey man I've been enjoying your videos and learning a lot so thanks for that Danny that's awesome to know. Uh, I got a question for you. Right now I'm playing with an Epiphone SG and I find it really hard to get the tapping down. So I guess technique and the how clean your tapping is. And uh, I want to get a Telecaster and was wondering if it's really much easier for tapping or is it more or less the same as the SG? Thanks. And the reason this question caught my eye is because I've had a few people ask me this kind of thing. Like will changing guitar make uh, tapping better for me? And the answer for this is no, it's not really going to change much at all. Uh, in fact, having that SG is probably going to have a 12 inch radius, which is actually flatter than a 9.5 that you would find in the Telecaster. So actually tapping should be perhaps slightly easier on your SG. So I'd like to give you a few tips of things that you could look out for that potentially could make tapping easier for you. So there's the guitar itself, so you know, check what your action is. You can mess with the action and you don't want to be too low but you also want it to be comfortable enough to play. You can see with my Fender here, I'm not sure how well that will come through on the camera, but I have it fed fairly low, it's about 1.5 away from the 12th fret there. And also your string gauge as well, if you're finding it too hard to press down, then try a lighter gauge of string. Also you can try tapping on the uh, neck pick up here, because this will fatten out the sound. So next is the technique, so what to watch out with uh, technique. So first you want to keep both wrists as straight as possible, if you're doing two handed tapping. You want to try and keep your thumb on the back of the neck as well. You want to try and use the tips of your fingers. You'll find your thumb moves around, but this is completely fine. It's just long as it feels comfortable. Um, you don't want to be tapping too hard, and as you go along, your technique will develop and things will become easier. For your right hand, you can anchor your thumb on the side of the uh, neck here to help out, keep things more stable. With this hand, you'll probably find you know, your ring and your little fingers a bit weaker than your uh, your index and your middle finger, this is completely natural, but the more you practice this then obviously the more comfortable you'll become with it. And I'll teach you a very simple but effective exercise just for practicing the technique. And this is going to start from the 5th fret on the, e, on the E string here, and we're just going to run up chromatically with each finger like that, so. And then we're going to do continue, come up to the 8th fret here, and then we're going to continue up chromatically with our other hand. And a tip for your, uh, your strumming hand for tapping, when it comes to the little finger, you might find it's not very strong, so what I like to do is put my, um, uh, my ring finger on top of it like this, to give it a bit more power, to give it a bit more punch really. Like that, you see? And then you can work your way up all of the strings doing the same shape, from the same fret, starting from the same fret. So at first I would like you to tap like that, so it's quite staccato like. Try and get all the notes the same length and try and get them all at an even volume, as best as you can. And uh, after that you can try and do them in a legato kind of sense, so this is much more challenging to do. One after the other. Not too bad with this hand, but this hand... <laughs> feels like uh, you're flicking. I find that much more challenging to do. Just try this exercise for a while and see if that improves things for you. Uh, but take a look at the instrument itself, like I said. 
and you can also look at things like compressors and such but I'd really develop your technique first and make sure the guitar is actually comfortable to play uh, before you consider changing to a Telecaster. Telecaster is a very nice guitar but changing to it is not going to solve your problem when it comes to tapping is the, uh, the short of it. Anyway I hope that helps you out Danny and um, yeah if I come across any more interesting questions that I think a lot of us that might have the same question then I'll try and make a little video like this for it. Anyway uh, thanks for watching today and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.